Alright guys, welcome back to another reaction video. My name is James. And Tell Rush. And today we're going to be watching Haikyuu Season 2 Episode 8. So last episode was a great episode. We just won the match, obviously. Um, and then we left off watching Oikawa and uh, the team, his team play. Who the heck are they playing? I just know there's a really tall uh, white haired guy on their team. That's cool. Okay, they're playing them. Um, I want Oikawa and his team to win, to be honest. I, I feel like that is the match. Even though I'm terrified because he might beat us i feel like we need to be <laughs> if we're gonna win this time around we have to be like out yeah. so i'm hoping we just watch their batch low-key the the playing in the last episode was just absolutely incredible but either way i just want to get straight into this episode as always full-length reactions up on our patreon as well as next week's reaction if you guys want a little bit of early access to support us you get early access to all of the animes we're watching on the channel and all the full-length reactions on the channel and our other channel as well um but either way thank you for being here thank you for watching let's just get into haikyuu season 2 episode 18. <laughs> Right, dude. I will never get over how accurate the sound design they get. It like it sounds uh, like, straight out of a gym. Just, just, just. Oh, these guys rocking the suits. These guys are the third years they played oh, against us okay, okay. Um, last time. Okay. Oh, also, there's that new guy on um, on Oikawa's team. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But we haven't seen him play ever yet. The iron wall can be built again and again. The heck? What the? That was weird. Oh. I feel like you're confusing him. <laughs> of course, of course, everybody has new players. Oh. Nice. He's a new weapon in training. Yeah. <laughs> He's still kind of just a chunk of metal at this point, <laughs> but we're getting there. <laughs> Shoot. Dang. This is like the best game to watch. There's no pressure. I'm so happy. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, that was sick. Dang. <laughs> oh, dude. Bro, give him a little bit of credit. <laughs> And if they win, that is gonna give give uh, Hinata so many problems. Oh yeah, I mean uh, it's like the it's not the perfect counter, but it's a really good counter. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, he's so obvious with this. Yeah, stuff. see, like I don't know, he's helpful, but he's such a harm as well. Yeah, he feels like. Oh, no, I can't see that one. Yeah, he's still amazing. Yeah. But that, he's so new. Remember that big guy, that really tall guy? Yeah. He kind of feels like that, you know? A little bit. Whoa! Nice! Good. Nice dig! Nah, but he couldn't return it. Ooh! Nice. That was a, that was a clean play. Hey, even if they don't win, they're going to be a formidable enemy. Oh, yeah, for sure. I feel like we're going to struggle a lot. Because they, they literally counter us perfectly with all that height. Okay. 
house clean. Udeg. <laughs> you gotta love an underdog. Come on, dude. Probably been practicing it. I'm sure. Honestly, I want uh, Abu Jose to win, but. I'm, I'm still also, going for. I'm rooting for the underdog. Of you know? course, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's why I said there's no pressure. Yeah, because they're just so huge. I mean, yeah. they're good blockers too, but they're just huge. Okay. Dang, that was cool. What did he notice there? Uh, Dang! Yeah. He's such an amorphous position. He's like yeah. bringing like the strength of an ace. <laughs> well, he's basically saying, don't try to change it up for me. Like, yeah, let know, me do the work. Yeah, trust. Oh, what? Oh, dude! That was sick! That was good. <laughs> Alright, dude. <laughs> How is he oh, gonna snap. get through, dude? Look at the animation! <laughs> oh! Damn. That was sick! Okay, that animation was awesome. That just like took a cool moment in Haikyuu and like elevated it. That's what they do. <laughs> he knows firsthand. Oh yeah. All right, dude, it's official. Yeah. We are screwed. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. We gotta. This was meant to be, and we have to, like, we gotta do this again. <sighs> yep, that was a rough one. That was heartbreaking, man. <laughs> well, you were there last yeah, time. Chief. Oh no, Yamaguchi! <laughs> I mean, she would kind of know. <laughs> <laughs> or just being around any of course you know? <laughs> yeah dude Yamaguchi this is your That's chance true. This is between this last shine. match and that match <laughs> never mind <laughs> oh no wait baby that's a strategy I think it, I think it worked it's kind of true though that happened last time Okay. Yeah, I feel like I'm missing the. Yeah, 
どんなチームになってるそうだとしてもカラスの<笑>みんな行くなそろそろ時間だ Oh man Come on guys We gotta do this <laughs> That's sick That's really cool, all the 3D Yeah That was an interesting episode Um I like, I mean, once again, I think Haikyuu coming in and, and capturing a sports experience that anybody who's played sports at all can relate to, which is the, like, watching somebody else play mm -hmm. with no practice. Like, really, yeah, like, for sure. Like I like that they kind of did that, because it is. As an audience, you're watching it, and you're like, oh, we don't have to worry about this, really, but, like, you're kind of, like, trying to mm -hmm. scope out, like, oh, that would be really good against us if they win, but you want this thing. Yeah. Which is just awesome. Um, and, I mean, we're hyping up for next, obviously, this is a cool match, but, like, the hype is... It, this this next match is going to be epic. Yep. It, and I know they're going to go all, all out with the animation. I can already tell, dude. They got, like, this dramatic flashback playing. Like, I'm getting the feels. Like, this is going to be... I'm going to be screaming. This is just going to be epic. And I'm so excited. And I like that they spent, you know, three minutes hyping us up. It's like, yeah, oh, this yeah. is going to be awesome. Well, I mean, because it's such a... It's such a big thing for like the the series, you know this this sort of like yeah. rivalry, right? Yeah, it's been you know on our minds since last season, and so like it, you know I feel like it had to come to this this sort of like final battle. Um, we still have a solid amount of episodes left, so you know yeah. we're gonna we're gonna really get into it. Um, but I like that they didn't like like they set up enough stuff with like the blocker of Date Tech and stuff mm -hmm. like that where. It wasn't contrived. Mm -hmm. Like, I felt like, okay, we have to fit, play Abba Josai, but it didn't feel like, okay, no matter what happens, you know we're playing. I didn't oh, yeah, really know. Sure. I mean, like, dude, the, I keep forgetting his name, but the white haired blocker on Date Tech, he literally was saying, like, oh, I'm good at blocking. He yeah. like all season. Yeah. Um, and nothing came of it yeah. so far. And so I like that, where it, I do completely think what you're thinking, whereas it's like, this was meant to be. But at the same time, it was never, I was never confident in it that uh -huh. it was going to happen. No, yeah, that's they did well. They did well with that. Um, yeah, I mean, it's cool to kind of see like a little bit of a Datako there, like you know, having a new person step in, and also seeing the third years actually not continuing volleyball, right? Um, yeah, they were a core part of the Iron Wall, and it, unlike uh, some of our like uh, people, right? I feel like they were kind of like you know, we're we're not going to continue, right? Yeah. Which is cool. It's kind of cool yeah. to see that, um, and we get to see. I forgot what his name is. Kogane? Yeah. Was that his name? Yep. Um, yeah, having a different sort of, like, skill. And also seeing just, like... And I feel like he's going to kick our butts next time we play. Yeah, it's going to be really They tough. are good. Especially with how um, eager he is and how the, um, like, his senpai are are wanting him to succeed. You know? And he's and, a first-year dude. The fact yeah. that he's doing what he's doing, which isn't great, but as a first-year is incredible. Oh, for sure. I mean, it's like I was saying, it's like that uh, the, that other really, really tall guy. Yeah. Um, who didn't know anything about volleyball, right? Yeah, he was yeah, just yeah. tall. Like that guy also. Um, the Russian guy, right? Uh, no, not the Russian guy. Leif? Yeah. No, not that guy. Um, remember that really, really tall guy? He's, oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah he, he didn't know anything about yeah, volleyball. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like he yeah. literally had never played. Yeah, yeah. That guy. Okay. So, yeah. you know, he, I feel like um, what's his name is kind of like that. Yeah. Right. Cool. Um, but yeah, also uh, another few like, a few things that I wanted to highlight was like, I like how um, they kind of emphasize this thing where um, it's almost like a little bit of like a bittersweet thing where um, remember how Kagiyama um, his change into not a dictator quote unquote mm -hmm. right um, actually allowed Oikawa to predict what he was going to do and it was the cause of their loss essentially right yeah but ultimately the decision was like you know that's not a bad thing no. that's actually a good sign mm -hmm. right and oikawa even saw that um i like how they kind of are starting to you know i feel like kind of um how should i say make that make that a, like a running 
idea a running idea kind of right mm. um another thing was that you know how oikawa is kind of he's a little bit more not like ego he's a little cocky he's uh, a it's little not cocky. a bad thing but he's a little cocky yeah yeah and then um i think uh, iwa yeah to me right he was like you know bro the ones with the six or the stronger, oh, I forgot exactly what it was. It was you know, it was yeah, stronger yeah, yeah. or whatever. Yeah, team with six players or whatever. Is stronger. Yeah, stronger six players are stronger. Uh, and it's like, that's true. Yeah. You know? And it's like, that's not a bad thing for no. Ikawa. That's actually good for him. You know? So do you think like he and Kageyama maybe have almost kind of switched places? I don't know. I, I don't know because it, it's just it's just that both of them... Because it is different. Like, you could see even in this match, like, like when he trusted Iwa, they kicked butt. Like, yeah. he was trying to solve the problem as the setter. And that is 100% an idea that Kageyama had early on that I feel like either has gotten less attention, but I think more has become less of a thing. Mm-hmm. Because Kageyama, we have so many weapons now. Kageyama's just like, all right, what's the best weapon right now? And yeah. just facilitate that as opposed to, okay, how do I run this team and solve the problem? Yeah. And I feel like maybe you're right, and Oikawa is still not that he's a dictator, but he's still trying to be a king. Whereas like Karasuno's a democracy. I don't know. <laughs> well, I'm running too hard with the analogy. But. I think, I'm not even sure that, but I just think that the idea of trusting, or even just trust in general, like Oikawa being able to trust Iwa in that yeah. moment, instead of saying like, "Okay, what do I need to do?" It's like, no, I just said it to you how I normally do. I believe that you can make this point yeah you know yeah it's like it's kind of that idea of like the setters being kind of like both of them kind of being right it's similar in their egos and stuff like that yeah Not as a super negative thing thing but um and then both of them starting to kind of like develop the sort of like tr- more trust and straightforwardness yeah which happened to be the downfall last time. Yeah. So I'm not sure, you know, what exactly that means or whatnot. But I kind of like that idea. It's it's kind of like... It's not as... It's very, like, complex. Well, yeah, know? because it's this weird thing, too, of as, as much as Kageyama is, like, the setter's the most important player, mm-hmm. unlike something like football or something, where it's like the quarterback gets the due because he's running... Or he gets credit, sorry, because he's running everything on the field. And yeah, you yeah. see that. You don't see that with a setter. Mm-hmm. I don't think. I think a good setter, they're almost invisible. Yeah. And if you don't know the game, you don't appreciate them. And I feel like that's a... I don't know. I feel like that. But I want to see how that manifests or if it manifests with, with Kageyama and Waikawa. Because I feel like it's really their match, next match. It is. but Or we'll see. Because, right, with, with um, you were saying that whole the stronger team mm-hmm. is better, right? I don't know. Is yeah. it going to be just them? Or is it going to be like Oikawa, you know, figures it out and, yeah. or, you know, things like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. yeah but, so we'll you know, see. We'll see. Yeah, it's usually not the the enemy team, like, saying, like, friendship. You know, it's usually <laughs> not like that. <laughs> yeah, so we'll see. I mean, in Oikawa, as much as I hate him, he's always a joy on screen. Oh, so. yeah. I'm very, very excited for the next episode. And I'm sure you guys are, too. So if you want to go check it out. Full length reactions up on the Patreon. Uh, next week's reaction, episode 19, also up on the Patreon. If you guys want to go ahead and check that out, obviously, you don't have to. It does support us. But really, just thank you for being here on YouTube. Thank you for watching. If you're new here, welcome. Hopefully, you stick around, like, and subscribe. We would love to have you. And if you do, we'll see you all in the next video.